Hi there, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single week. Again, it does not matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So, in the NFL, we have headed to the championship uh, weekend in the NFC and the AFC to determine the Super Bowl contenders. But before we get into the games, I will remind you to join the Z Code VIP Club section right here, and you will have access to all these wonderful tools. So let's scroll down here and take a look at the two games. In the NFC, we see we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Green Bay Packers. The Buccaneers are coming off a 30 to 20 win over the New Orleans Saints, while the Packers took down the Rams by a 32 to 18 score. You see both teams are burning hot, the Packers and the Buccaneers. You see they have both won their last six games. And the Packers right now are a three and a half point home favorite with an over under 50.5. And you see the odds are 1.51 for the Packers and 2.59 for the Buccaneers. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see both teams on the upward trend. The Packers having a plus 30 to plus 27 edge in that category. Head to head, though, look what happened in the first meeting back on October 18th. Tampa Bay whipped up on Green Bay. They were a slight home favorite, but they whipped up on them by a 38 to 10 score. If you want to bet the over and under here, you can see that Tampa Bay is trending in games slightly over the line, and Green Bay is as well. So I would tend to lean towards betting the over on this one. That's probably going to be a pretty safe play. If you want to see how stable the two teams have been, you can look at the uh, team volatility oscillator. You see Tampa Bay increasingly stable at plus eight, uh, plus ten now, excuse me, and Green Bay is also increasingly stable as time has gone by, and they are at plus eight. So you can see both teams are pretty well performing according to their favorite and underdog status. Tom Brady is heading into his 14th conference game. That is very impressive. And it's going to be very, very hard to bet against him. But we're going to take a look at the money line first and see what we got here. And we scroll down through here. It's the money line. This is the Packers money line. So you can see starting here at opening at 1.481. And now it's currently 1.549. So you can see the odds are shifting more towards Tampa Bay. Not much, but a little bit. As you can see, there has been a slight trend. A slight change in that line, but uh, keep note of that as the week goes on heading up into the game. What I'm seeing is this time, I don't think it's going to be anything like it was the last time where Tampa Bay just ran all over Green Bay. Green Bay is at home. They're extremely tough in the postseason at home, particularly at Lambeau Field. It's going to be cold. Very hard to bet against Tom Brady, but I really do believe that Green Bay will win the game. But if you're betting the spread, I think Green Bay is going to win only by a field goal. So right now at three and a half, that would mean that you would want to pick Tampa Bay to cover. But if you want to just bet straight up, I think Green Bay wins the game. In the AFC, this will be an interesting matchup. The Buffalo Bills and the Kansas City Chiefs. The Bills are coming off a 17-3 win over the Ravens last week. And the Chiefs held on to beat um, Cleveland by 22-17 score. The big story here is the health of Patrick Mahomes, the Chiefs' star quarterback. He is in concussion protocol. There's, it's uncertain whether or not he can play the, in the game or not. The line right now is odds of 1.75 to 2.1 for the uh, Kansas City. And there it is. Now it just changed as I'm talking to you. It's 1.72 for Kansas City to 2.128 for Buffalo. And the line is 2.5 for Kansas City. It was 3.5, now it's 2.5. And, and the over-under went from 545 to 53.5 so this is all depending on what happens with Mahomes right now both teams are burning hot if you want to look at the power ranking indicator you will see that Kansas City is 29 Buffalo is at plus 31 very close there not a surprise that both are at the top of the league in that category look at the head-to-head -head matchup back on October 19th Kansas City won the game in Buffalo by a 26 to 17 score you're considering the over-under on this one. The Bills are playing in games trending over the line, as are the Chiefs. So this should be a relatively high-scoring game. So no matter who the quarterback is for Kansas City, I believe that this game will go over. 
you look at the volatility oscillator, you can see again, not surprisingly, both teams are quite stable. Plus 11 for the Chiefs, plus 8 for Buffalo. So they are very consistent with their favorite underdog status. Let's take a look at the money line. Now, this is something to watch throughout the week. Again, it's got to depend on what happens with Mahomes. So if you look at the money line right now, it opened at 1.59. This is the Chiefs' money line. You can see, look at all the movement. Look at all this movement here on the line. Up, down, up, down. And now it went down. It was, it was at 1.752. And as I mentioned, it's backed up now to 1.719. But you can see it has changed more towards the, in the Bills' favor. Chiefs still are the favorites. So what do I think is going to happen in this one? What I think is going to happen is if Mahomes plays in this game, the Chiefs will win, they will cover. It won't be that much of a contest. You know, it could be a 7, 10-point victory for the Chiefs if Mahomes plays. If he does not play, that changes everything. Buffalo will cover. They could win the game. I'm not sure they're going to win the game, but they will cover. It will be a very tight contest if Mahomes does not play with Buffalo having a chance to win. So there you have it. Just keep an eye on the on the stats of Mahomes throughout the week, and then you can check this and see how the point spread changes and the over-under changes and the money line changes as the week progresses. So there you have it. Enjoy the games this weekend, and we will see you next time.